Round one between the Atlanta Falcons, who dropped a close one to Kansas City last week, and the New Orleans Saints, who were cruising along and then, bam, hit a big pothole. Car lofting into traffic and picked off! All that talk in the NOLA about maybe the offense, maybe being legit unstoppable, came to a screeching halt last week. Derek Carr hoping to get to a tire shop to fix that flat he got after facing Philadelphia. Just 142 yards, 5.7 yards per attempt, only one touchdown, one pick, a sub 70 rating. Hit at the line and incomplete. And the Eagles have forced the field goal attack. It wasn't really a pass protection issue. He only got sacked once and hit four times. The Atlanta defense he takes on next didn't bag Patrick Mahomes once, but their secondary can make things tough on Carr either way. They still held Mahomes to 217 yards, just 5.6 yards per attempt, and a sub 90 rate picked him off. Mahomes lost it. It's intercepted. Unbelievable Justin Simmons. Atlanta's DBs will be tracking Rashid Shaheed. Two monster touchdowns the first two weeks. Five targets, no catches last week. Chris Olave, though, comes in hot. He caught all six of his targets, 86 yards and a TD. Lofting for Olave! Touchdown, New Orleans! Olave versus AJ Terrell. Terrell only allowed seven yards versus the Chiefs, but he wasn't on Rasheed Rice enough. They gave up 110 yards and a score to him. D. Alford and Mike Hughes gave up 50 yards plus each. Alford faced 10 targets. All 10 of them were caught. He gave up two TD passes. Mahomes throws. It's complete. It's race to the end zone. Third leg in New Orleans passing table is usually Alvin Kamara, three catches for 40 yards in their loss. Falcons played backs as pass catchers fine versus Kansas City. Didn't handle them great as runners, though. Gave up 4.2 a carry to both Samaji Pirine and Carson Steele. 97 yards combined to the two guys, 70-plus to Steele. When it gets down and dirty, they can also just smash it. Kamara, the runner, is up next. 87 rush yards versus Philadelphia. Alvin Kamara slips his way for a first down. It would help the Falcons offense if their Camara could produce like that. Bijan Robinson versus Kansas City, just 21 yards receiving, 31 rushing, just 1.9 a carry. Robinson stopped in the backfield! And will close it out for Kansas City. Maybe the Saints are the team to get right against, based on how they played Saquon Barkley anyway. Let him loose for 147 yards, 8.6 a run, gave up two TDs to him. And when he gets through the second level, he is Gone. Saints defenders also have to shore up some pass defense deficiencies, allowed Jalen Hurts to go for 300 plus yards, over eight yards per attempt. Hurts hits the crosser and has 23 yards on the first play of this drive. They didn't give up any TD passes and they did pick him off once, but they allowed 170 yards to tight end Dallas Goddard. Huge play that set up Philadelphia for the win. Dallas Goddard is wide open! 60 yards from Hurts to Goddard. Atlanta has Kyle Pitts at tight end. He racked up 50 59 yards, big 50 yard pass play, too. Cousins has time, he's got his tight end, Kyle Pitts! Saints corners gave up 79 yards to Devontae Smith. Falcons trot in Drake next. London, a touchdown, 67 yards versus KC. The throw wide over for the touchdown, Drake London! And Darnell Mooney with eight catches, 66 yards. Mooney, Pitts, London, the main three guys Kirk Cousins relied on last week. Kirk went 20 for 29, 230 yards. Big time start here at home for Kirk Cousins. Had some ups, had some downs, some strikes and some gutters. Only ended up in the gutter two times. Those two sacks only worth one yard too, but he got hit 10 times, pressured over 40% of the time. That's Scooby Snacks high. And New Orleans has a pass rush that can do something with that. Bagged Hurts four times. Carl Granderson, one and a half, has three in his last two games. Defensive tackle Brian Brisset with two, also has three in his last two. Hurts is in trouble. Hurts is sacked. Oh yeah, and as for that one call, Rise Up, you know the one that Raheem Morris called I Like My Money. Yeah, look at it. It's got I Like My Money all over it. It's so I like my money, it's crazy how I like my money it is. No question, that should have been a penalty. It's the Battle of the South. This is the ultimate rubber match. They are tied 55-55 to 55 in the overall series. So who takes it? You tell the world who you think comes out on top in the comments section. That's what it's there for. Our panel of 10 does it on the last screen, which is what it's there for.